Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. K Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We are gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't she a beauty? What? Don't be shy. Tires don't feel no pain. Nice. Go on, one more. Just for the hell of it. That's it. Beauty. And again, Trevor. Aim ain't nothing without timing in my book. Aim low, so if you do miss, at least you'll not spook the driver. Dumbass. Man, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever takes a tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. Seem. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Damn, you're shaking like a dog pooping peach pits. Have we got coyotes down there and a chicken up here? Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. <laughs> you're gonna meet a bitch. That's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think 
that it was nothing. I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker. That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker! No! Jesus. Huh? No, come on. What? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where no, sorry. were we on, exactly, huh? Get up. Oh. Sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! There's a guy with a gun! Don't fuck yourself! You are handsome. Hello, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. <laughs> 